Okay. Four months. <laughs> it's been four months since I worked in this game. Uh, I think it's about time we probably go back and finish up. The thing is, I'm right at the end of the game. I just, I've been having so much stuff going on. Whenever I want to play, I want to actually stream, and I can't stream this game, so I just, ugh. I got a lot of stuff lined up too, so it's just, I don't know. It's just annoying that I've not been able, been able to get back to this game, so I should work on it. We're working on it now. Uh, and the thing is, right after the, I took a break, I did do a little bit of, because the thing is that level grinding is a nuisance, so I don't like doing that on stream. Uh, or, or on even on just regular videos. So I don't like doing level grinding. So I was like, I, you know, I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, do a little bit of level grinding on my own. Uh, so I went ahead and acquired the um, uh, the XP. So when we completed the quest with um, uh, uh, Gwilim, Gw that quest gave us uh, two XP upgrades. I also had another quest that I had active that would give us another two X XP upgrades. I had to clean that on my own just because it's a, it's a nuisance trying to get, collect those. Um, so, I think there was, uh, rare drops from a certain enemy. Uh, I went ahead and took a look at that. I decided to get it on my own. So I had four XP, XP, up, 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 up uh, double up XP items. So with that, I went ahead and uh, did a little bit of playing around, and I ended up finding a, a, a neat trick to easily level up fast. So let's take a look at this really quick, and you'll see <laughs> I everyone at max level. With all the all their stuff capped, so I did that pretty shortly after after I I started the break. Uh, so I will go ahead and show how to do this really quick before we actually start continuing the game itself. I'm sure anyone out anyone's already done this already figured it out, but I'm just gonna do it anyway because you're gonna be confused as, as to how this happened uh, since between between the previous times. I have not completed any new quest though. I only completed one quest. That was when we already started. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find it. Uh. Let's see lore. There's no quest listing. I hate the fact that there's no quest list here at all. It's just annoying. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go back to Magmel then. Okay, so this fairy right here? I thought she was up, up around here. Well, there's a fairy up around this area that has a quest asking you for um, some sort of spirit gems of some sort. It doesn't appear that, that she talks to me anymore. Yeah, she won't talk to me anymore, it looks like. That's weird. So, th 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 there's a fairy. I think it's um, this one right here, or is it this one? No, it's not that one. It's this yellow one right here. This this fairy with the yellow wings here, uh, she gives you a quest to look for um, a, a certain type of gem. An Oberon gem? Let's, let's check. Well, well, we'll go ahead and look for it real quick, because I, I know how I get it easy now. So, if you head back to Halcyonia... Okay. So basically, uh, spirit-type enemies will uh, drop drop gems as, as their uh, weapon, as their uh, rare items. So, uh, you need to get the rarest gem, and you need 10 of them. It, I, no, no matter why I did, I did not find an easy way to get them until I did a little bit of digging around. And I figured out that if you defeat this one enemy up here, she always drops one. So it's a, it's a rare monster that's sitting right here. Defeat her and she always drops one. All hands on deck. Okay. Let's see, what's the be best way to do this? <laughs> okay. Try this 
Yeah, and the gravity things are really useful. There we go, Orbron gemmed. So all you need to do is come out here, I uh, come out here, defeat her. Wait for her to respawn and just do it ten times. You'll, you'll get them really quickly. That's the fastest way to get Oberon gems. So you get ten of those and then you can get the, um... Right here, the growth egg. Doubles EXP and JP acquired. So th because you do, if you do both the, uh, the quest with w Willem and, um, uh, that one fairy, you get four growth eggs and you can equip on all four characters. So that, that's a nice fast way to get to, to um, uh, get the best items in the game. Now we'll take one more thing. Now you have to go back to Magma again. Cause so that's a little bit annoying. We need to, to backtrack again. Okay. So what you want to do here is you know equip all of your your, your Lebrian stuff. Equip the growth egg. Go into your jobs. Or, sorry, go into your jobs. Uh, have your blades up. And you equip uh, JP up and uh, JP up and up. So get all those things ready to go. Then you come in here and re repeatedly fight enemies until you find a certain enemy that, that shows up in this area. Come and get it. Want to equip to be enemies? Just, just repeatedly you get, use uh, gravity abilities from, um, uh, yeah, from from Bra Bra Bear. Gravity abilities deal damage to your based on your current HP. This is one of the most powerful attacks in the entire game. Make sure your, your HP is max, of course. Captured? Yeah, I, I, I captured something. What do I have on her? Uh. Oh. Oh, that's actually cool. Just have that equipment, and you can easily easy capture monsters to rack up your rack up your monster captures. That's that's cool. I like that actually. Finally found one. Took forever to find him. Find her, actually. Queen Wiki Wiki. So here's here's something interesting here. The Queen Wiki Wiki uh, uh, only has 119 HP. Okay, so okay. all you need to do is use bravery and super gravity. At that point, okay, so this deals damage to uh, all targets equal 20% of the user's current HP. If you use regular attacks with Wiki Wikis, you'll break to any damage. You'll break to any damage at all. But using gravity attacks will always deal a percentage of damage based on your, your current HP. So if you use gravity attacks, you'll easily be able to kill them without any problems. You can miss. You can miss, but it's it's not that bad. So like, it just, maybe you just use it twice, for example. There you go. It's already dead. See, auto guard is what what does it. Um, yeah. So now, now you manage to kill it. It makes things a lot easier uh, to to finish off the rest of it. So there you go. You defeat a Queen, Queen Wiki Wiki. It gives you tons of bonus extra e XP and JP. You just keep running around here, fighting them over and over again until you, until you get it. There's one more trick too, though. Let's see if I have them right now. I might have sold them. Here we go. Let's do an insect nectar. Okay. So now that that tracks enemies to you. There's another Queen Wiki Wiki. Okay. So we will go ahead and kill this Queen Wiki Wiki here. He's just a Giga Gravity. There you go. It's gone. And 
And now you get you get another battle. And you could even get more too. You can even get several more at the pain upon uh, uh um it's it's random, but you can get you can get even more based on that. And this thing lasts for quite a while. So you can use any of them to do it. Uh there's also a special one uh that's um Okay, I don't have any right now, but there is there's one that affects all monsters. So I thought that these would were to try and attract enemies to you so you can catch as many as many close here as possible, but that's not the case. All it only it's just if you get to about one enemy then um, you will get more stacked up on top of each other. So that's how it works. And you can just keep doing that over and over again. Um, and you can, if you get mobile quickly, you'll quickly jump up in levels. So you do that, just repeat, go through here, and, and you'll gain levels really fast. So that, that's how you um, easily get to a max level and max out all your, all your jobs. But there's something else to consider too. After you reach a certain point in the game, of course, you gain um, the ability to fight new en new enemies that unlock uh, and increase your jobs up to level, up to level 15 from 12. So you can get the rest of those jobs up to level 15, and it will even stack too. Like if if you go if your JP goes way up over your current your current um, max level, once you go out and get those ring levels, they will stack. But you may not have quite gotten to that point at that point uh, before you reach there, so you may want need to come back in here later and uh, catch up on it again if need be. Once you do those, I will go through those, and um, I, I was really not planning doing them, but now that I managed to find this this and we're coming back to this game again. I'm going to not only beat the game but also beat all the um, optional bosses and max out all jobs. So we'll definitely work on that too. So that that is it for um, uh, this episode. This is just a brief showcase of how to quickly get your max levels up. Uh, as soon as you get to the end of chapter 6, uh, once you get the Brave Bear, it's pretty easy to do this. Um, like, what, But the thing is, once you so once you get the Brave Bear, um, you then have the ability to uh, uh, unlock chapter, chapter 7. Uh, so basically, once you, get to chapter, once you get the Brave Bear, you're pretty in chapter 7 at that point in time. But... Uh, it is technically as late as the end of chapter 6, uh, is when you get this, because the Brave Bear is the cutoff. You, you, it's not effective to do this until you get the Brave Bear and its gravity abilities. So just keep that in mind. Of course, you also want to get, um, you also want to get 10 Oberon gems, uh, so you can get 2 growth eggs, and complete Willem's quest, and which will get you another 2 growth eggs as well. And keep in mind, too, that once you, um, once you reach, I think, Chapter 7, you do unlock additional quests throughout the world in various RAM places. Uh, so there are a handful more that you, you get at this point in time. So there's a, there's, a, there's up to, I think there's a hard total quest in the game. So if you haven't completed complete hard quests, uh, you need to, uh, you will have to find them and figure out where they are. And they're all over the place too. So we will of course go through them and finish them all off. Okay, well that's it for this uh, episode. Until next time, this is Gene Raymond, signing out.